I'm going to make some homemade jello that does not have preservatives in it. So I'm going to start with some juice. I'm going to start with a Martinelli's apple juice, which is straight apple juice. Some lemon juice that is straight lemon juice. Stevia, again, check the ingredients and make sure it's pure stevia, not the stuff that, that has extra additives in it. Another kind of juice just to give it more flavor. Real gelatin, not the stuff that you go buy in the store that already has all the flavoring in it and, and again a bunch of preservatives. Knox gelatin will also work, the unflavored pure gelatin. A tablespoon and a bowl. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is what's called blooming the gelatin. So I'm going to take my apple juice and pour a little bit over half into a bowl. And then I'm going to take my gelatin and put three tablespoons of gelatin on top of that apple juice and wait for about 10 minutes for, for it to bloom. And it doesn't have to be as precise. If you go a little bit over, that's fine. It just makes it more of a finger jello, which that's what I'm trying to make anyways. Just spread it all over equally. And as you can see, it starts to bloom into kind of a cool looking little flower type thing. Now that it's all bloomed, we're going to take a saucepan, add the rest of the apple juice, the other juice, a little bit of lemon juice. and about 10 drops of pure stevia. I'm going to bring that to a boil and then add in the bloomed gelatin. Bring that mixture to a boil over medium heat, stir occasionally. You can see it's just starting to get nicely hot, starting to boil on the edges. A little bit of steam coming off of it. Just a little bit more and we'll add the flour to it. I love the feeling of this gelatin. Quite solid. Pretty cool. Almost feels like a maybe a mushroom type consistency. Alright, now that our mixture is boiling on the stove, let's add this flour to it. You can see it's just starting to boil. That is plenty hot enough. So now we're going to add our flour. Then just mix all that together until it's all liquid. Still keeping it over medium heat. Now that the bloom gelatin is all dissolved in, all an even liquid, take it off the heat and pour it into whatever size of glass bowl for the thickness of the jello you would like. 
Make sure if you're using a glass bowl that you have it on wood so that way the glass doesn't is not on something really cold like stone and causes the glass to break. I like to pour a little bit into the glass to start with. Let it warm up that glass just a little bit before I pour the rest in. That's all there is to it. Let it cool to room temperature. Put a lid on it. Put in the refrigerator overnight. And tomorrow you have finger gelatin. Now that the jello is room temperature, let's put a lid on it and stick it in the refrigerator for overnight. All we got left to do after refrigerating the jello overnight is to cut it in squares. And then unstick it off the bottom. Any kind of spatula will do the trick. Okay, break it up into chunks and you have finger jello. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.